guys it's Melanie welcome to my channel today I have my owls TBR for you so stay tuned so if you watched my wheel of TBR for April you know that I have a lot of books to read this month and if you didn't I'll link that up here for you to go check out because not all of those books made it onto this list yeah I have to read, in addition to the books that I'm reading for my owls, I have to read five other books. And they're not small. <laughs> and then I had to add a lot of books on, uh, three or four more books on, to complete challenges because when I was picking my books from the wheel, I didn't know what career really I was going to do or what the challenges were for that career. Now I typically go with Alchemist because it has the most prompts and that's what I'm doing again this year. I'm going to do Alchemist and that requires you to do all 12 owls and yeah I don't like to take it easy on myself <laughs> but I didn't know really pay attention to what the challenges were for those. So when I was picking out my books with the wheel, I thought I could probably get these books to fit into those challenges. But no, five of those books, five of the 10 books plus three others. So five of those 13 books didn't make this list. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to read those in addition to these this month. Okay. So I have my handy dandy notebook here with all of the challenges and what I'm reading for each. So for Ancient Runes, which is Heart Rune, read a book with a heart on the cover. I'm reading Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson. And this is about uh, a girl whose best friend goes missing with the mean girls of her school. And then they, I think they all end up dead. And rumor is that it's like a suicide pact or something like that. But our main character, she doesn't believe that's the case. She thinks something is up and she is a Wicca and does something to bring them back at least temporarily so they can figure out what happened to them and who's responsible. For Arithmacy, Magical Qualities of the Number Two, Balance Slash Opposites. Read something outside your favorite genre. So I think my favorite genres are probably retellings, urban fantasy, and like contemporary romance. Those are like my three favorite, I think. Now this particular book isn't a genre that I do like, but it's not like one of my favorite genres. So I picked that. I've got The A Silent Patient by Alex Michaelettis. And this is about a woman who kills her husband and then stops talking. And it's a following, I think, the psychiatrist or psychologist who is studying her or trying to help her. Next up is Astronomy, Night Classes. Read the majority of this book when it's night outside. And for that, I'm reading Back to the Future, a Volume 4, Hard Time. And, uh, well, this is just kind of based in the Back to the Future world. And my battery's flashing, so hold that thought. Be right back. Okay, sorry if the angle changed. Back to the challenges. And I closed my little notebook so I gotta find my page again. Okay, challenge number four is care of magical creatures, hippogriffs. Cre uh, I wrote creature with a beak on the cover. <laughs> That's actually what I wrote down. So it's a cover with, wait, yeah, I did write it right. I'm looking for a book that has a creature with a beak on the cover. There we go. Please excuse my yapping dogs. <laughs> okay, so for that I chose 
uh, Wonderland Volume 2. It's a manga by Yugo Ishikawa. And if you look in the mirror here, there is like a crow with a beak. And I recently read Volume 1 of this, which was which was my first ever manga. And that took some getting used to. But this, uh, I think this actually gives us more information about the Alice character. Our main character in Volume 1 is Yoku. And she wakes up in her bed in Japan. And she is a tiny and discovers very quickly that her parents are tiny and a large population of this area of Japan that she lives have all become tiny. And in the very beginning of the first one, her parents are massacred by their pet cat because he thinks it's a to their toys and shreds them. Yeah, it's bad. There's no TV, radio, uh, cell service, anything like that. So she ventures out into the world with her pet dog because he's just a happy, slobbery thing and protects her and tries to find a higher place so that maybe she can get signal. Anyway, she finds Wi-Fi somewhere for just a moment, long enough to make a call to a friend of her family and discovers that in his area of Japan, they're not having this kind of problem and he doesn't know what's going on. So she is trying to get to his area of Japan and they run into all kinds of things in the first one. But I'm looking forward to reading this. Okay, challenge number five is Charms Lumos Maxima white cover and for that I will be reading Back to the Future Volume 3 Who is Marty McFly? And these Back to the Future graphic novels they are not retelling any of the Back to the Future story. It's actually adding parts that you wouldn't have seen in the movies like in the first one one of the stories is how Marty and Doc Brown become friends. And I have I've read volume one and two so far and given them both five stars. I love them. So I'm really excited to continue this series. Okay, challenge number six is Defense Against the Dark Arts, Grindelow's book set at the sea slash coast. And I think this is the, yeah, the first one that I had to add that wasn't on my wheel of TBR. And that is 10 by Gretchen McNeil. And all I really know about this is there are 10 teens that go to this island and there's a killer on the island and they're stuck there for three days and they have to survive. And well, because it's an island, it's the sea or the coast or whatever. Uh, okay, challenge number seven is divination. Third eye. Assign numbers to your TBR and use a random number generator to pick. So... I put out the books that I hadn't already put on this particular TBR, but were part of my wheel of TBR. I counted them and then, so they each had their number. And then I did the random number generator to select from those. And the one it chose was the biggest one. And that is Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. This is the first book in the Last Hour series and if you don't already know, it's part of the Shadowhunter world, and I don't really know very much about this going in, except that it's Shadowhunters, and I love them. And I think this is like uh, following the Infernal Devices. Okay, next up is Herbology, Mimbulus Mimbletonia. Title that starts with an M. This is another one that I had to add on. And I chose a graphic novel called May, Volume 1, by Jean Ha, Wesley Hartman, Rose McLean, Paulina Gauchino, and Kendall Good. And this is about a girl named Abby, I think Abby, and her sister May. And when Abby was a child, she was sucked into this portal to a fantasy world 
and has been having great adventures there ever since, defeating horrible monsters, power mad scientists, and evil nobles. But when she turns 21, it all comes apart and she decides to return home. Her sister May has no idea what happened to Abby all this time. Her tales are too hard to believe, that is, until the monsters and other terrible creatures start to cross over into our world. And I think this sounds like a lot of fun. And because I was having to add extra books in, I really tried to stick with graphic novels. <laughs> Challenge number nine is History of Magic, Witch Hunts. Read a book featuring wizards or witches. And for that one, I decided to go with a Phoenix First Must Burn. Uh, it's an anthology edited by Patrice Caldwell. And this says 16 stories of black girl magic. Uh, 16 tales by best-selling and award-winning authors. They ex explore the black experience through fantasy, science fiction, and magic. And I kind of glanced through the, um, I guess the table of, con yeah, table of contents at the titles of some of these. And there's at least one called the witch's skin. So there's witches and wizards in here. Also on the back here, it says Beyonce's lemon lemonade meets Octavia Butler. All right. Challenge number 10 is muggle studies book from a perspective of a muggle, a contemporary. And for that I'm reading scammed by Kristen Simmons. This is the sequel to The Deceivers, which is about a boarding school of con artist vigilantes. And it's such a fun read. I highly recommend it. And I'm really looking forward to reading the sequel. Challenge number 11 is Potions Shrinking Solution, book under 150 pages. And for that, I decided to throw in another a Back to the Future graphic novel. This is number five, and it is 94 pages. And this one's time served. And this is another one that I had to add that wasn't on my Wheel of TBR. And then challenge number 12 is Transfiguration. Animagus Lecture, book slash series that includes shape-shifting. Now, had I been able to use or double up, I totally could have gone with Chain of Gold because I know there are shapeshifters in that series. Uh, and probably some others. However, with all of the books that I had left that I needed to try to fit in from my wheel, none of them had any shapeshifters <laughs> as far as I know. So I decided to go with Buffy the Vampire Slayer Volume 1 High School is Hell. Honestly, I don't think I've read this one. I have a lot of different Buffy graphic novels. I don't think I've read this one, but I might be wrong. But this is almost, oop, just hit myself in the head. This is almost like a retelling of it. It's like the exact same story as the original Buffy, like the show, but it's set in current times. So the world doesn't look like the two like early 90s or yeah it doesn't look like the 90s it instead it looks like you know the 20 teens so that'll be interesting to see how it's different and that's another one that I had to add from my wheel so these are the 12 books that I have to read for the owls to complete the career of alchemist. I was thinking of doing other like some of her extra seminar things but if I remember correctly I think the only thing is that you would have to do more owls and I'm already completing all 12 so I may not do that. Also, the fact that I have, in addition to these, five other books that I need to read this month. <sighs> Wish me luck. <laughs> have you guys read any of these books? Did you like them? Did you not? Are you participating in the owls? Comment down below and let me know. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, 
click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you.